What's up guys? Here with Ryan's engine, ready to take it apart. Here we go! Whoa, well, easy killer! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, lead the way. Can't just rip her skirt off. Hola amigos. Today, we're gonna make this engine look nice again. I was debating on filming this because, for one, I don't really want to make this process longer than it needs to be. But then I was like, you know, it might be oddly satisfying to watch this thing transition from uh, kind of rusty caca looking to freaking dialed. When I'm done with this, it's going to look real good. So I'm going to start masking things off. Let me show you my plans. This is what I think I'm going to do. Oil pan, gray. I guess I have oil leaks, which I freaking hope I don't. Block is going to be black nut. And the head's going to be a nice bright silver. What do you guys think of that idea? The, um, the valve cover, it's already been coated. Powder coated or something. I don't really know what was done to this. It looks decent, but I think I'm going to do it um, wrinkle black like uh, Matthew's Miata. Looks real good and leave these letters silver. Yeah, I think it'll be good. The intake manifold I have is also coated that color, but I think it'll contrast the black powder coating pretty nicely. What do you think? Well, I got some work to do. I may time lapse this, I may not. You'll see when I edit it. But let's get started. The day has come. It's finally ready for paint. I spent the last few days Sanding it down really good with a wire wheel. Got into those nitty gritty ports. Take a look at it. Got the oil pan, pretty dialed. The head is good and clean. Everything's ready to go. So I use a pneumatic gun with a wire wheel. First, if Shannon will focus. Shannon, you never freaking focus. I give up. Oh. Quinn's out there shooting. You see. Clean it up with some mineral spirits and brake cleaner. Dried it all off with a air hose. And for paint, I'm using Duplicolor Engine Enamel. I'm gonna do silver for the head and the oil pan. and black for the block. I chose this because it's rated for a very high temperature. It should hold up just fine. And there's a quick curing time, so I don't think I have to wait an entire day for it to cure. I think it cures in like an hour and a half or so. While I was doing this, we also did a new clutch on John's STI. Didn't What's up, we? guys? What's up, guys? <laughs> you missed the entire thing. Yep. Three days of torture. So I'm sorry. We didn't film it. But that's because it wasn't an easy job and we just wanted to get it done. Yep. Lots I of mean, late nights and energy drinks. Lots. Too much caffeine. Too little sleep. But it's done. But that's normal. But it's done. Now we can do some clutch dumps, right, John? All day. Yes. We're going to burn out everywhere we go. Oh, yes. <laughs> Okay, next time you see this engine, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a beautiful thing. Let's do it. Kitties, what do you think? It's done. Decided to go all silver 
Looks good. No, but in all seriousness, I did put a couple coats of silver paint on the pan and the head. My reasoning and uh, Quinn's reasoning was it's easier to cover up silver with black and cover up black with silver. Pretty, pretty bright, huh? So now that I'm done with the silver coat, I'm gonna mask off the pan, mask off the head, and then we can get that black knot paint on the block. That's it. So I got a little creative in my wrapping job here. Looks about as good as I do when I wrap my Christmas presents, which is not good. But what's important is that the edges are sharp, clean, and crisp. You see? Now we can get the black paint out and have a heyday, not worry about it. Oh my. Jonathan. Yes? <laughs> Shannon is so bad right now. There she goes. Sell it. Sell it. Who wants a Canon Shannon T6S with uh, attention deficit disorder? Best offer. <laughs> so I don't even really know where we're at because I've done this painting job in like 15 different segments. But as you can see, the black paint has dried. We're ready to unravel it. This should be the most satisfying part. I have a feeling that when I take some of this painter's tape off, it might take a little bit of uh, paint with it, so we might have to do some touch-ups, but we'll see. Won't we, Jonathan? Oh, yes. So there's a few spots here and there we gotta touch up. Looks like this will be another segment because it's raining outside. I'm not gonna paint in the rain. But overall, it looks, looks pretty good. This is an awfully depressing video that you're making over there. Wait, why? Because all this like paint in this app here. It's know. like a never ending story. <laughs> it <laughs> really <Next>? is. No! <laughs> <laughs> to be continued. Whoa, met you, I'm live! Shit. <laughs> What's going on with Jono? Jono, he's getting some fun toys. He's getting some noise. <laughs> See what I'm dealing with here when I'm trying to make a video? <laughs> that was what you wanted. <laughs> So it's day 75 on Project Paint Ryan's block. Final day. We're gonna do a little touch up. See right here is no good. Couple spots. Here is no good. But we're gonna bring it out, paint the block, maybe paint the Evo at the same time. They're both silver. The Evo could use it. But let's finish this once and for all. The silver has dried and cured, ready for the final undressing of Matthew. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, everyone wants to see that. Any ideas? Gosh darn, it looks good. Doesn't it match you? Hell yeah, we got 4G63, swap that thing. Yeah, when are we gonna 4G63 swap it? We gotta do a street test on this bad boy.
should get a battle car. We should. Jack it up. We should do this against the Mazda 3. Yeah, hell yeah. So how'd your paint come out? Pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. I don't know, I saw a chip. So we should start, we should start over again. <laughs> Maybe a little one, but, but the, it's underneath the mostly. Covers that, yeah. I may fix it up because I'm OCD, but I don't know. Does the transmission cover that? Yeah. All right, good. Yeah, that's the that's the ma transmission mating surface. I love mating surfaces. Yep. <laughs> okay, ladies and gents. Sorry if this video came out a little chopped and screwed. It's because because it's actually 2020 and we still haven't finished it yet. Yeah. <laughs> We've done this in so many different installments. It's like I don't even know where I'm at anymore. I gotta go hunt down footage from six years ago. But I hope Shannon just uh, auto focused in the garage good enough. What was I saying? Um, it's 2020. Okay, yeah, the year is 2020. Cars are flying, but the engines looks good. <laughs> That's all that matters. But I'm gonna have more time now to focus on this thing. When I met you. Why? Why is that? <laughs> Give this video one like and I'll quit my job. How about that? <laughs> Just kidding, I already quit my job. <laughs> All right, thanks for tuning in and staying up to date with the latest installment of this project. Next, we're gonna start putting things back together. Stay tuned, peace.